Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. In this screencast, I'm going to cover an application that I've been using regularly to manage my finances at home for several years now, and that's MoneyWiz. When I was choosing an application for finance management, my requirements were simple but quite specific. I wanted the ability to manage all of my accounts, my budgets and my bills in one place. I also wanted to capture transactions on the go. So if I'm at the local supermarket with a copy of my receipt in hand, I wanted to quickly add that transaction to a mobile device. Device syncing was therefore a prerequisite as well. And lastly, I wanted a quick, customizable set of reports that allow me to click a button and see how little money I have in, say, three months' time. So all of these features, and a lot more besides, are contained within MoneyWiz. So I guess I better move on quickly. Let's get it set up. Now, as far as installation goes, there are several options available to us. First, we'll start on the MoneyWiz website. The website itself is really intuitive with a lot of information available. I'm just gonna click on buy on the right hand side here to look at the different purchasing options we've got available to us. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is there is a three tier model. Running through the differences, if we start on the right hand side with the free version, I strongly recommend that you look at this first while you trial the features available and make sure that it's the application for you. Now you can use it on any device, so you can pick an iOS or a Mac OS installation, but as it's a free account, you're not gonna have the ability to sync between these devices. I'm sure as you're trialing the application at this point though, that's fine. You're also unable to sync with your banks with online banking with the free version. Now one great feature MoneyWiz has is the ability to draw down transactions from your financial institutions at the touch of a button. Now you won't get this on the free plan and there is also no high priority support. Over to the left now, and the standard offering does allow for syncing between different devices via a SyncBits account, which you create when the application is installed. The standard version on Mac OS is £39.99, and you can purchase that here. So back to the pricing tiers now, and the highest option we have is the premium tier. Now with the premium tier, you can download the transactions from your bank or building society directly, and you have access to high priority support. You have the option of purchase on a monthly or a yearly basis. So let's just click on monthly here. And what have we got? We can see that it's £3.99 per month. If you want to pay for it annually, it is a little bit cheaper. It comes in at £39.99 for the year. So I guess when choosing between standard and premium, you really have to ask the question of yourself about whether or not you need your transactions downloaded directly. If you have a large number of transactions that you find yourself manually entering on a weekly basis, it could well be worth paying for that time saving. However, if you're only dealing with a handful, then perhaps it's not cost effective. There is one other way of accessing MoneyWiz on Mac OS, and I know this is gonna make a lot of you smile. That's right, it's on Setup. So which version do you get with Setup? The good news is that you are able to connect it to online banks to download transactions, and from version 3.0.2, your setup subscription will unlock MoneyWiz on all other devices. Now, as I'm planning on showing you how to use MoneyWiz on Mac and iOS, and I'd like to cover the online banking features as well, I'm gonna use my active setup subscription to install. So you can see I've got setup open here. In the search window, I'll look for MoneyWiz, and it appears. Let's click install. Okay, pretty quick process there. I'll just open the application and see what we get on our first glance. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.